back to another vlog. Today we're gonna be doing a daily vlog, I feel like, or a day in my life, or just like a day long vlog. It's, vlog. it's not gonna be a weekend vlog or a week long vlog because it's already halfway through the week and a lot's been going on so I haven't been able to create new vlogs for you guys but I figured today I could do my best to do one and try to get everything done while vlogging. I'm on my way to the dentist. I have a cleaning scheduled and I chipped the back of my tooth like one of my molars in the back and it's been like that for a few months been on my mind I'm like I need to go get it like I think I don't know if it needs to be a filling or what they need to do but I'm like let me just get my teeth cleaned and get this checked out at the same time so it's a two-in-one but I'm gonna be a little bit late because traffic is really bad right now and I was like rushing to make breakfast so I didn't even get to eat it <laughs> but I made these really I like tried it I made these really really delicious um, like paleo pancakes I bought the thing mixed up. It's from like Bob's Red Mill. And they're um, delicious. All I added was like eggs, coconut oil, and water to the mix. And they're so good. So I'm really excited to go home and have some. I was going to vlog earlier, but I just couldn't. Because I was like running around from making breakfast to getting ready. Like getting dressed, doing my skincare, washing my face, the whole thing. To going on my emails. <laughs> To creating like I needed to do these stories for the brand so much so I'm like I can't even like film this right now I look like a maniac running around all in like a 30 minute span um, I'm like making sure the pancakes don't get burned as they're on the stove all this stuff anyways I'm going to the dentist then I'm gonna have a bunch of work to get done <sighs> then I'm gonna take prints on a walk and be whoa okay you're literally okay this woman almost scraped the whole front of my car because she can't drive but what's new with miami i wanted to book like an appointment somewhere by me but of course my insurance just like is so picky and it was really hard it's really hard to find someone that took my insurance and being self-employed i don't have the best insurance because i'm not going to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month on insurance like our healthcare system is when you're self-employed you notice how expensive everything is and knock on wood i'm the person that like never goes to the doctor to the dentist unless i'm doing checkups and cleaning so like i used to get like better insurance in case something happens but yeah i'm gonna do work later and then i'm gonna go take prints on a long walk that's my agenda because i brings me so much peace i strive for those and i haven't been able to do enough few days we're over a week like we take him out every day and obviously but i haven't been able to do my solo walk and like listen to my podcast and have that whole like self-care ritual so i need to do that um and i'm really looking forward to it and then i just have a lot of stuff going on guys i need to fill you in on um i'm like really chatty right now but i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in a while i am doing my first miami pop-up for the clothing brand it's with a few other really like nice vintage and sustainable brands um, is this my next day? yeah so i'm really excited it's march 18th 12 to 6 at most studios deets are on the website if you're subscribed to our newsletter or sms you'll get those deets as well i think a lot of you already have um or if you have any questions just email message me dm me whatever um but 12 to 6 p.m at most studios march 18th we're doing our first pop-up and there's going to be like soft serve from this like really famous local miami spot um and drinks and like little snacks and other really cool brands that hopefully i'll introduce you guys to as well and you'll like if you don't know them you might like fall in love with them i am really excited about it and it's going to be so fun but long story short literally my life has been crazy with this event and everything else going on relax sir you almost hit me what is wrong with people i'm excited to meet all of you guys and i'm also excited for a lot of you to like experience the brand in, in person because i know it makes a big difference touching feeling try on clothes our next uh drop is going to go live after the pop-up but if you come to the pop-up you're going to be able to shop the pieces first there and when i tell you there's limited i mean limited like way less than you probably could even imagine it's all made with dead stock fabric so however many yards of dead stock fabric was left over from production from some other brand that's what we used 
minimal. So it's like limited, no restock, like you like it, you get it. Otherwise, once it's gone, it's gone type of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys either at my dentist or afterwards. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend. Cause you're always just stuck in your head. How I feel like I can't talk. Like the sound, this, the, guys, the tooth that chipped back there was a filling that I got last year. And I'm really happy I went to a new dentist because I only went to the last spot once and I realized like something was off. I just had a feeling they didn't do that good of a job. So I went to this new spot and I really, really like them. The work they did and she confirmed, she's like, I've never done a filling and it like goes away that quickly. So should be good, I'm hoping. This back tooth is apparently the back teeth and it is, okay, I'm talking crooked because my mouth is numb. Um, the back teeth are apparently like, there's so many nerves back there when they numb you. They're the most painful when you do cavities and fillings because they numb you, but they numb one nerve and then the other, depending on the other <laughs> nerves in the area, you might still feel it, which is the case for me. So I've always loved going to the dentist. I love going to the dentist. I love going to the doctor. What? That sounds weird. You know what I mean? Like I'm not scared to, because I haven't had like bad experiences. The dentist I love, I love getting my teeth cleaned. It feels so good when you leave. However, I went last time, last year, and I had this filling and it was so painful because he had to numb me four times and I guess it just wasn't getting all the nerves and like when they were drilling it, you feel the sensitivity and it was the first time I did not enjoy the dentist and I've been scarred since. So I was really scared to come in for this one and she pretty much confirmed that the filling I got fell out and I was really bummed and I was scared that I'm gonna have to like go through that pain again. And she was just, that's how I knew I'm gonna be coming back to this spot because she was so sweet and gentle and she had these different techniques that she tried like a different tool and like numb different uh, nerves and she like knew where they were. So like I still felt it a little bit but it was nothing like the pain last time and I was able to like push through it. And my pain tolerance is like super high. So like super high. <laughs> So you know if I, like I've been through some crazy stuff and no anesthesia, no nothing, so my I can get through it. But you know if it was painful for me last time, that means it really hurt. And um, yeah, I'm glad I got my teeth cleaned. They said the nicest things about my teeth. They were like, you have really nice teeth. You take care of your teeth very well. Like whatever you're doing, keep it up. And I'm like, <gasps> when the dentist tells you that, you just feel like such a, proper adult you know what i mean when the dentist is like wow a great job on your dental hygiene like keep it up i'm like i'm doing something good in life like the dentist is saying good job with my teeth i really like this girl's romper where is it from i'm such a creep oh it doesn't have any logos on it or anything i'm such a creep just staring at her but that romper was really cute it was like a workout one like this black one i have a couple of those but this was a different style so i don't know where it's from but anyways, I'm heading out. Um, I think I'm gonna go work from a cafe and change up the scenery a little bit. Okay, I got a few things from Rat and Boa. I'm still numb, by the way. I cannot, this whole side of my mouth, like it feels like rubber. But I got a few things from Rat and Boa. They just had like this major sale and I'm on their like VIP list. So I got early access because I spent so much money there. So it's like their loyalty program. So I got early access and I was able to get a couple things in my size because if you know Rat and Boa, they sell out of sizes so quickly. Hi baby. So I I show you what I got because I just got home and it was here. Hold on. It's always think it's for him. Stop it, it's not for you. So it comes packaged like this. And I got the Celine shirt and the Jackson trouser. Celine shirt is in. Celine, Princey, why are you licking it? Are you okay? Did you eat yet? I got the Celine shirt in a small and the trouser in medium. Why are you licking this stuff? It's disgusting, Prince Okay, let's do the Celine shirt. No, stop. Got the Celine shirt. I'm hoping that the small. Do you see this dog? I'm hoping that the small fits me because 
I was thinking of getting a medium. Honestly, why did I get a small? I never get a small in like button ups. But according to the model, she was wearing an extra small. So I was like, oh, a small is gonna be like slightly oversized. But this shirt to me is not of a really oversized look. It's more of like a fitted shirt. So I don't want it to be too oversized. Actually, I feel like looking at my shoulders, it's gonna fit. That's usually how I can tell. Prince, stop it. You're so annoying. Are they gonna be too big on me? This is gonna be horrible if they're too big on me. Well, this is what they look like. They're like a low waist and it's like a V in the front. And it's tight around the legs, but it's flared, like really flared at the bottom. And I figured with like platform heels, like chunky platform heels, these pants will look so good. So yeah. I wonder what kind of fabric this is. I'm like huge on fabric. Well, I remember checking when I purchased them. You guys know I'm big on fabric now that I have my own brand. I just can tell. I'm gonna try them on later and maybe show you guys. Or you'll probably just see them in a photo. I don't know. Okay, JK, I couldn't wait to try these on. So this is what they look like. I have to stand on my bathtub because we need a full length moment. Whoa, they're kind of stretchy. This is telling right now. I'm on my tippy toes on this little small section. I don't want to fall and break my legs. They're actually really comfortable. They are a low rise and it's kind of like a V shape. If you can see a little bit, it's not too exaggerated, but I like the material. It's like, Stretchy and fitted, but it's not like a legging material either. It's really like more in between a pant and the legging. On our way to grab a coffee, it's actually gonna be my first coffee of the day, but I was saving this time, or I was saving my coffee for this time because we're gonna go on a walk with Prince Chauffeur. Meet up with a friend and catch up with her. And I haven't seen her in like months. So we're just gonna catch up while going for a walk. He gets his walk, I get my walk, we get to catch up. Perfecto, that's like how I like to plan my stuff out. <laughs> So, you know, get multiple things done at once in a way sometimes. But um, yeah, so I'm on my way there. I'm literally drooling at the thought of having my vanilla almond milk latte with vanilla because I'm craving something sweet and I just wanna treat myself. And that just like gets, it, gets the job done. And then I always add a little bit of cinnamon because I love cinnamon, love the taste, love the smell. And it's also really good for you. I feel like a lot of people don't know how good cinnamon is for you, but it's so good for you. And it's great at detoxifying your body as well. So yeah, add it in there, all of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I don't want to oh. drop it. Oh, thank you. You're Prince, welcome. you're too much to handle. Wait, let me get to you. Okay. Hello. She's got my coffee because Prince is pouring me. Bye. Bye, thank you so much. This way, Prince. What was I gonna say? You have an I have, event. I have, well, so that, they were like trying to pick. Okay, just finished my little walk with Prince. And now, Lal and I are getting some work done. We're trying to coordinate the shoot for next week. So my goal is to have all of that figured out by the end of the night. And it's like pretty much doing everything from scratch. So it's a lot of moving parts to figure out. But I have so many emails to go through from so many of you guys that applied for the model spot. We're going to pick several. It's really exciting to go through all of your emails. Like I am shocked at the amount of responses. Like shocked. So I'm really excited to go through them and figure out like what the best option would be options to make sure all flows and the clothes and group of gals and all that so um i'm really excited about that so that's what we're working on right now and picking the studio photographer just all the little details Okay guys, I got back. It's like almost midnight. I got back a little bit ago. I was just gonna finish my work. Sorry today's vlog wasn't that entertaining, but that's just what today was. It just is the reality of my life and day. So hopefully I didn't bore you too much, but I am about to do my nighttime skincare, journal, and go to bed. I'm gonna journal in my little Joy journal that you guys have seen before. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this simple, calm, work heavy vlog and day. But I love you guys so much, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.